As part of our Young South Africans with a Different series, I'm joined by Rupert Bryant, who is the co-founder of Web Africa. Now, uh, Rupert, you were part of building one of the most successful, leading, actually, South Africa's most leading internet service providers. I mean, take me through how that idea came about. So, I suppose it all started when I was, uh, I was very young. Um, I kind of got online for the first time when I was 10 years old, uh, and it was love at first sight. Um, I started teaching myself how to code, um, and from there I was pretty much building websites for anyone that would let me. <laughs> um, eventually I started realizing that the, there was a much better business opportunity in the web hosting um, side of, of the d uh, web development, which means that once you've built the website, it needs to sit on a server somewhere online. Um, so I started doing that, and eventually I had about 30, 30 customers. Um, at this stage, I was very young because I left school when I was uh, when I was fourteen. Um, uh, so I joined uh, Matthew Tag. Um, By who, left school, you mean? Uh, I I decided it wasn't for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, and uh, well, my, my family was never really well off. So another another aspect um, that was quite important to me was to be able to sort of take care of myself financially um, and obviously business was one way to do that. Um, not to say I did all this for, for money, um, it was, I was quite lucky that I also managed to find my passion um, quite, quite early as well. And I mean how did you generate the startup capital for your, for your business? Um, well like I say we, we were just building websites so at the time we pretty much funded it ourselves just through web development um, and the, the coding we were doing. What we would do is, as soon as we could afford it, we would buy our own servers um, and put those in our data center, which we could then host the websites on. And we slowly but surely moved away from the web, web development side of the business. Um, by about 2005, we also when we launched ADSL, we pretty much weren't um, doing any more web, web development and just focusing on, on hosting. And I mean, considering the fact that South Africa currently has a very major issue with like slow internet connection and high internet costs, how are you working towards combating uh, this issue? That's a very difficult, difficult problem. Um, it's, it's an incredibly capital intensive um, game to deploy uh, fiber and, and put an in infrastructure for that. Um, Unfortunately, short of a couple of billion rand, it's hard to make a dent, um, which is why I suppose we are reliant in many respects to what the government and Telcom and MTN and Vodacom can do for us. Mm. And also just looking at the fact that not a lot of people actually have access to the internet in the country, are you actually in a profitable venture? Uh, yes, with Africa is really prof profitable. Um, the ADSL side is it's a very competitive game, um, but it's good because it keeps us honest. <laughs> But the web hosting side of the business is also, it's, it's really profitable um, and we've been, we've been growing nicely. Uh, it's, it's really a fantastic place to be in. And I mean, you have been moving from one business to the next because you, you started your own business before moving to Web Africa. And now I think you might also be moving to the next uh, thing. So just tell me more about that. Yeah, so um, I joined up with, with uh, Matthew Tag um, in 2003. Um, it was a fantastic journey. I mean, uh, we really, was really en enjoyable and enriching. Um, and then last year, uh, obviously after being there for 11 years, I decided that it was time for a new change. So I'm actually launching a, a new business now uh, called Accommodation Direct. We focus on short-term holiday rentals and uh, vacation homes. Um, and we're hoping to launch next, next month in May. And I mean, what, wait, what does it actually en encompass? How can people get hold of that um, service? Uh, it's Pretty simple, we uh, advertise online. Um, so if you're searching for a place to stay, you can just browse to acomodirect.com. Um, and it's very similar to other services out there. Uh, obviously just, we've really focused on the customer and making the user experience really exceptional. Um, and you can browse, browse different homes, check out different areas, uh, read guest reviews, look at photos. It's really quite something. Oh, and another uh, very exciting um, area we're working on is just exploring the different suburbs and you know, getting good content out there about how wonderful South Africa is because it really is a beautiful, beautiful city. And how will you be generating revenue from, from that? Um, so we take a small host fee and a guest fee on every booking. Um, yeah. 
And that's, that's about it. Yeah, that's really it. I mean, Africa is the country where most people have like mobile phones. So how do you think businesses can actually start using that to, mm. to their advantage? It's, it's absolutely a key, a key point. Um, we've designed our, our new uh, platform, the whole website, with the mobile first um, strategy because it is so, so key to, especially in South Africa. Um, you know, we've got, I think, 8 million active internet users in, in South Africa and only a million of those connect through ADSL, so big, big um, part of the future for online in South Africa is mobile. And do you have any tips for people who actually want to also go into the web and online uh, market? Um, I th suppose the most important thing is find what you're passionate about because, you know, the money is, is never really actually, it's, it's not what's going to get you up in the morning and drive you every day. Um, find your passion, educate yourself. On, on that. Uh, personally, I like to read a lot and I'm always trying to explore, explore new areas um, and find good people that you can work with who really drive you and, uh, and make yourself a better person.